In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for Br2, that's diatomic bromine. You'll sometimes see this diatomic bromine called molecular bromine, that's because we have two Br atoms bonded together, and more commonly, probably as bromine gas. So these are the different names for Br2. So let's write the Lewis structure. First thing we need to do, count the valence electrons for Br2. So we have a periodic table here organized by the number of valence electrons in the group. Group 1, they all have one valence electron. Group 2, two valence electrons. We get over here to bromine, that's in group 17, sometimes called 7a. It has seven valence electrons. And we have two bromine atoms. Multiply that by two. 14 total valence electrons for the Br2 Lewis structure. So we have two bromine atoms. Let's write Br twice. And we have 14 total valence electrons here to write the Lewis structure. We'll place a pair of electrons between the bromine atoms to form the chemical bond. So this pair of electrons here, it's a shared pair of electrons. That's our chemical bond. Then we'll place electrons around each bromine atom to complete its octet. And remember, we only have 14 valence electrons. So at this point, we've used 14 valence electrons. Each bromine has an octet, has eight valence electrons. These two are shared. So this is the Lewis structure for Br2, diatomic bromine, also called molecular bromine or bromine gas. Sometimes you'll see this pair of electrons here, the shared pair, replaced with a line. The line, that represents the chemical bond, and it represents a pair of shared electrons. If you were asked to find the molecular geometry, since there's only two atoms, it would be linear, the bond angle of 180 degrees. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for Br2, diatomic bromine also called molecular bromine and more commonly bromine gas. Thanks for watching.